personally, I hope he gives you to us. You would make a fine dinner. Why me? Why not? Why don't you be my sister? Very soul shimmery that one. Welcome to the Diaries here at Dark Slade Manor, which at the moment has train wreck properties about it. Yes, it's uh, things are kind of broken down because I am making a big change here at Dark Slade Manor. The first one is I gotta do my dishes because they're gross, and I gotta get my kitchen clean before I do anything else. That's the way I have to, you know, figure out I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. But I gotta take care of the kitchen first. Okay, I told you in the last episode, and I was going to tell you in this episode, what uh, is actually taking place here. So here it is. The front room of Dark Slade Manor has a lot going on, right? We got the Haunted Mansion corner, we got the uh, Kingdom Hearts corner over here. Um, kind of moved some of the pirate stuff over here, and uh, then we have the music room back there. Okay, that's the front area. I have had an ambition since I was just a wee little dark slate that I wanted to do um, a room in my house that was dedicated to the Haunted Mansion. Well, now I'm an old man. Well, okay, I am not the an incredibly old man, but I'm an old man. I'm in my 60s. I'm 63. You know this. I've decided I want to turn my front room into an homage to the Haunted Mansion. Now, to answer a couple of questions. One, why? The answer is because I can and I want to. Like I said, I'm 63 years old. I bloody well do what I want to do at this point. I've worked my life, I'm still working my life, and I want to do this. Okay, so that's why I'm doing it. Two, how am I going to go about doing it? Well, it's a matter of finding collectibles that I can use that will fit into what I'm going to do. Obviously, I am not building a replica of the Haunted Mansion. It's an homage to it. So, I've managed to find some things that will fit into the situation. Okay? Um, I've got wallpaper coming, which is the Cloud Coats wallpaper from the Hollow Doors. The other wall, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with yet. Um... I'm going to make a big capstan type curtain assembly for my uh, sliding window that leads out to the Adventureland porch. So that will look all, you know, better than the, the slats that are hanging. Well, they're still going to be hanging, but this will be around it. Um, I went out and I bought some um, unfinished shelves, which are like unfinished shelves, except it's mispronounced. So, as a matter of fact, I'll show you one. There we go. Unfinished. So, at least they're started, right? So I'm going to finish them, more or less. And I'm going to use the smaller shelves instead of the, um, the big long shelf that I have over here that's got some of my collectibles. They're all smooshed together. So I'm going to use these smaller shelves. I'm going to make them look proper. And uh, I'll put some of my collectibles on there. i got a corner shelf for a really interesting collectible I have coming. Um, I'm going to take all the art down. I'm going to replace it with the Haunted Mansion art, and I am taking down my big Haunted Mansion poster. You've all seen it, I'm sure, many times, just in case you haven't. This. This is coming down, and I'm going to carefully store it. Now, why am I taking that down if I'm doing a Haunted Mansion a homage? Well, because it is a poster, and it's a poster from the you know, the walkway and Main Street and all I got. But, whereas it is Haunted Mansion, it won't fit in what I'm trying to do. Okay? And part of me is kind of upset I'm taking it down. Part of me uh, really wants to make sure it doesn't get damaged because it's, it's special. So that's another thing that's going on. So I'm working on this, and one of the projects that I'm working on that you know about is that little miniature of the attic and um, balcony from Haunted Mansion. I'm almost done with that. 
So we're going to get into some of that. We're going to do some of the work on in changing the front room. This is going to be over a long period of time, believe me, because I got stuff coming in that I'm not going to see until August, you know, at the earliest. Um, and then there's also the music stuff, because I'm not changing any of that. This is going to go basically from here to here. Now, you can't tell what here to here means, but here is just to the left of the uh, front door, and here is just to the left of the uh, sound room, the sound booth. So that's what's going on with that. Now you know, and uh, it's hopefully it's going to be fun to do. Um, I do have to get out on the Adventureland porch. I say this all the time because the Adventureland porch needs some, you know, needs some assistance. It, it's out there in the weather, but it's so dad blasted hot in Arizona right now. We're expecting this weekend hit 113. That's hot. So. Uh, don't know what's going to happen with that, but that's what most of this episode is all about. But first, I gotta do my dishes! So, without any further ado, let's get going. While I'm thinking about it, because I always forget about this till the end, if you are watching, if you are watching, if you see this, you're obviously watching. It would be great if you would subscribe to the page. Uh, at darksidediaries.com it's Darkside Diaries on YouTube if you would subscribe to this channel and or if hit the bell button so you know when new things are happening and um, then you'll find all these exciting things that's going on now I have a lot of videos out this is number 83 or 84 I think it's 84 but it could be 83 it's 80 something there's so many I can't keep them in my mind so there's a lot to see and a lot of strangeness that goes on with Darkside Diaries. So if you would, be wonderful for you to subscribe to this channel. Um, I don't ask for money. I don't have a Patreon for this page. I have a Patreon for something else. But I don't have a Patreon for this. You don't have to send money. You don't have to send anything. Just sit back and enjoy it. If you want to help support, uh, I will later give you the support for... The band. That's where I need support is with the band, with the kids for the band in the band, uh, our instruments. We just bought a whole bunch of stuff. You know, you've seen me install most of it. So that kind of stuff we can use some support for, but not for this. This is just watch it and enjoy it or hate it. I don't care which, as long as you watch it. Okay. Now on to taking care of the things that I was talking about earlier, provided I can remember what it was because I have digressed so far. Okay, we're gonna do an unboxing here. And I think before I unbox anything, judging by how much power is left on the battery in this camera, I better plug it in. This is a three-string slide cigar box guitar by BBG. And it's for the band. Everything I do is for the band. Yeah, here we go. See what happens. I've got it going through a dirty sound, so it's going to sound dirty, which is what I want. Well, you know, this is my first time on it, so be, be kind. Not my first time playing a cigar box guitar. My first time playing this one, okay? This one, manufactured as it might be. All right, here we go. Disney wrapping paper, yay! 
Yeah, okay, here's my return authorization. It's absolutely necessary. This may take a while. <laughs> I suppose I could have just broken it open. All right. This is the Hatbox Ghost Spirit Bottle. Yeah. Okay, so here's the the jar. There's a spirit in the jar. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. I love it. Okay, if you look behind me, you're going to see the, the girls over here who are going to get moved and their plaque's going to get moved. Uh, it's going to stay in the, in the, you know, Honda Mansion area because it feels, you know, it's, it's part of the view. But then we got this Kingdom Hearts stuff, um, this Pirates thing. Um, there's the big map. Um, and then there's more Kingdom Hearts art over here and over here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the Kingdom Hearts, the giant map, and I think the one pirate picture, I'm going to take those down and I have got to work out a spot to put them because I don't want them damaged. The uh, Kingdom Hearts stuff uh, I'm either going to sell or I'm going to pack away or I might give them to my kids, I don't know. Alright, so the next step is I have to take the girls down, and this is a little bit of <laughs> an issue because they just barely fit on that hearth, and I'm not sure if I want to put them up using that hearth or put them over in the music room. I haven't decided yet, but they got to come down right now. Sitting here at my, uh, at my hobby table, and I got in two packages today. Um, that both are in tubes. Let me get my phone out of my pocket. Uh, here we go. And uh, I got the one package open. They got the tube out. It says my name on it. Then I got the roll and it says I put in a bonus one. Thanks. So this is almost it's like a mystery box. I know what one of them is, but I don't know what the other one is. So going to very carefully find out what goodies I got and what the bonus is. This is very well wrapped and I want to be careful. I don't want to tear. Go carefully. There we go. go carefully. Remove this one. There we go. Let's see. Ah. Here we go. This is April. This is a, another version of April from the Haunted Mansion. From the April shower. If you look at her reflection, in the bird bath, you can see the old lady. So, and this is printed with the frame printed on it, which is not what I was expecting. I wanted to frame it myself, but what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll put it on a piece of foam core, and it will look just as good. Now, let's see. This is the this is the extra. So, I'll show it to you first. And it's probably upside down or inside out or something. Let's see. Oh. 
Well, that's kind of cool. That's the uh, the ballroom scene from the Haunted Mansion. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's not bad. I put that on this wall. This goes on that wall. Cool. Well, that was incredibly nice of them to give me an extra when I paid for the one. Alright, I got the base made. There it is. Might look familiar to some of you. This was originally going to be the game board for Vuzz, which was a movie we never did. But, made some modifications to it, and now it's going to work. And, what I need to do now is this has to be black. Black. I paint is black. And this area, from here to about in, is going to be inside the attic. And from here to here is going to be out at the balcony. And here is uh, the wall with the door slot cut through it, which will go here. And this is a window, but I'm going to take the bottom part off of it. So it's going to be a little lower, a little more to scale. And this is going to be the open door leading out to the balcony. But first thing is I have to paint this black. And uh, we will be back to see what it looks like as I get further along. Open. And they are wrapped the same way. Oh. Put in the bonus one in this one also. I guess I got it from the same person. That's funny. So there's three in this one. How cool is that? You getting all kinds of special things going on here. I got one from James Cullen and one from Christine Cullen. So they came from the same family. How cool. All right, here we go. Ooh. That's nice. This is the extra. That's cool. That's the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. That's the Tour de Manor, not the uh, Antebellum. But that's cool. Alright. Check out the other ones. That's cool. So I got four or five posters. I ordered three. I got five. The Duelist. Okay, so, the Duelist, I have uh, frames, and I got something that would look as close to the kind of frames you would find, standard wooden frame, that might be sitting there and getting old the time. And uh, when I got these, I bought two of them, but I only paid for one, because it just so happened to be a two-for-one day when I went out there looking for frames. And I had to look for the right size. These are um, 11 by 17 with the matting. And I'm afraid this is probably 11 by 17 with its own matting. So we'll see how it looks. We'll do one and see how it looks. Okay, here's the wall. This is a blank slate. Actually, it's stucco. And this is, of course, the the pictures, the uh, the duelists from the hallway. Now, I'm showing you this because this is what it looks like. Blank. Just like this. This is a before. So there are the duelists up there with the bright light from a light that's too bright reflecting off of it and the wallpaper. <clears throat> now this is a distressed gold leaf and it's as close to what would be in the ballroom of the Haunted Mansion that I could find. And I have it up there, kind of curling and peeling here and there. So it looks like it's been up there for a while. And I need to finish up here the trim. It's going to go to the end and then down. And then the other 
pictures will be going up there. Here you can see the wallpaper up close. It's real wallpaper. <laughs> but it's held up by uh, that heavy double-sided tape in all the corners and then at the seams. And then I actually nailed, using uh, paneling nails, I nailed the trim up there so it all holds it up. This is part of the um, balcony railing. It's a piece of balsa wood that I very, very carefully had to put holes through without ruining the integrity of the wood. In other words, I had to go across the grain. And then these are the uh, whoop. these are the uh, the railing posts that I got at Hobby Lobby today. And if I did this right, well, if I did this right, I'd be very excited. If I did this right, these should fit in here and hold secure. If I did this right. Without cracking the wood. Oh, look at that. There's a railing as it starts out. Obviously not the way it's going to be finished. It's uh, kind of late, actually. It's uh, almost 11 o'clock in the evening. And I very rarely film at 11 o'clock in the evening. Hello. But um, this is one of those things, like, when it comes to working on games I told you about, you know, when I... When I sit down to do it, I really, I love it, and I get involved. And uh, I kind of put it off and put it off, and then I sat down about, well, after I had dinner, I had a late dinner tonight, and I started about, I don't know, 9.15, 9.30. I have a video of the uh, Imagineering story playing, and I just lose track of time. So there you go. Now, can I fix this hole without breaking it? That's the big question. I got all this crafting stuff around me and I can't find a knife. Well, okay. I didn't need it. Here we go. Ah, I bought a bunch of little packages. <laughs> That's what I did. Here it is. Now what this is, is this is a recordable sound chip. It's about 30 seconds recording time. And this is the kind of sound chip that you'll sometimes find in greeting cards. And this is recordable, which means that um, I can record on this. And then after it's recorded, you pull the record button off. One of these two tabs is record, the other one is play. You take the record button off, and um, then it can't be recorded over and then you use the other button to play whatever's on it. Now, I got this because when it's on a sticky thing, so you pull this off and you can stick it to wherever you want. I got one for the diorama I'm doing. It's going to have the heartbeat sound on it, the sound of the attic. And if, well, if I had my glasses, I could double check these, but there should be, yes, there is. The lead in on the ground on here. I can solder onto that another wire and I can hook the lights up to it. And the lights would run off the same battery and they would flicker a bit because <laughs> it would be playing the sound using the same power. And there's three batteries in here. And um, so this will work for the attic, little attic scene. Add something to it. However, I bought three of them. Here's the two others because I have some other plans. For some things that I'm doing around here, that you know the things I'm doing around here, but you don't know exactly what thing I'm thinking of that I'm think that this thing is for. So, um, and you won't find out in this episode either, because I don't expect it for. Well, you might. I don't expect it for about three weeks, and it takes me about that long to get these things out. So you never know. I've been feeling a little bummed recently, and I'll tell you why. It's because my camera's pointing at you high. There we go. It's because of this one. Is it because of the COVID-19? No, 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 no. That's been an issue with everybody. 
Is it because the government can't seem to figure out what to do uh, to make everybody's lives easier? No, that's been going on since time immemorial. Is it because my work schedule has got me working about one and a half hours a week? No. It's because I haven't gotten any junk mail. I haven't gotten junk mail in about two months. No junk mail. Until... Junk mail! Yay! It's not the greatest in the world, but it is what it is. This says, Welcome back! Enjoy our summer savings. This is Welcome back! So this means it's someplace I've been before. Because they're welcoming me back. Let's find out where I've been. I haven't been anywhere, actually, the last couple of months, obviously. It's one of those that's got super glue to. Oh, there we go. All right, what is it? Uh, it's our local mall, Paradise Valley Mall. I have been there. And it's a bunch of little coupons. Look at this, there's coupons, coupons, coupons everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's coupons. So this is actually something I can use, but it's still junk mail. Why is that? Okay, it says here, welcome back. Remember, I said that? Welcome back. Enjoy our summer savings. Welcome back. You've been here before. Welcome back. All right. It's addressed to you, resident. So all of a sudden, I don't feel so special and individual anymore. It feels like it went out to everybody, which it most likely did. So that's what makes it junk. However, it is junk that I will use if the opportunity presents itself. Now, I know that wasn't great junk mail, but I haven't gotten any in the last couple of months. So we're just going to have to deal with what, what I got. here paint and this here center and we're going to go around this frame like it's been hanging for a while. Get some of that gold. So this chandelier here, with the flickering lights, candle lights going on against the new wallpaper back there. Um, this is actually was like 24 bucks. I think I got it from Macy's or something. But it's a very, very simple um, black metal wireframe, kind of a gothic chandelier. And the... The crystals on it, oh, where did I go? The crystals on it are plastic, so it's, <laughs> it's not, you know, the highest quality, which it shouldn't be, because I don't actually use it for seeing, but I think it looks really good. I think it really adds to the whole thing. Very atmospheric, and for how little it costs, it, it was perfect, but it's very small, as you can see, I'm going to put my hand up here. It's not very big at all. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. You want to know why? I'll tell you. Because I'm all done <laughs> with this episode. 
It's been about two and a half weeks almost since the last episode, and since I started this episode, and you know what? I gotta go do my dishes again. It's like they don't stay clean. I use them and then they're dirty and all like that. Anyway, uh, keep in mind it has not been two and a half weeks since I did my dishes. It just, and, you know, it's ending on the same note that it started on. Okay, the next episode is going to be uh, a lot more stuff dealing with the uh, Haunted Mansion and Ning of uh, Dark Slade Manor. Uh, some music stuff. Uh, some, I don't know if there's some porch stuff. It is 197.412 degrees outside, so it's really hot to work on the uh, Adventureland porch. But um, that's basically uh, more of this and music and that, that kind of stuff, like I just said a second ago. So, that will hopefully be happening in our next episode. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a great week. <laughs> End of line.